All right. Did you guys wash your hands? All right, here we go. Basically, you got the cutaways, leaving spiky thingies. And we're gonna be layering them this side. So, you're gonna put that pin, that pin is gonna go into a hole, um, pointing counterclockwise, and going in a clockwise order. And the very last one is a pain. You have to take this last one and cut it under the first blade and layering it on the last blade. So, what you want to do is put your thumb on top of the first blade and the second blade, just the ends. And you're going to cut this under the first blade. and set it down. <clears throat> I just open them all up evenly. Now, you have to remember, remember that uh, the, uh, we made a gouge above and below this ring. So what we have to do is find that. Mine's over here. And I put my thumb there as an indicator. And then you gotta find it on the inside. And we're gonna set it down. I put it so my thumb would be a little bit, say my line is here, I put it here. Cause then we're gonna put it down and then we're gonna rotate. Um, so this would rotate to the, to the right, <laughs> um, and they should snap into their spot. Boom. All right. Flip her over. Don't sneeze. And what can I show you? I guess we'll just jump right into it. Basically, now, let me just make sure my lines are lined up. Yep. So you can see it, my gouge there and my gouge there. So they're lined up. And we're gonna drop the ring down. So it, the, the, ta the taper is uh, on top because that's what pushes it down with the screws we took out earlier. And there's little marks from where they used to be from the old screws. We're gonna try and line that up. Now, this part doesn't matter, but because I'm, I don't know, <laughs> I'm a perfectionist. I want it done how it was in the beginning. But basically, now, before you sneeze, we got to get those little tiny screws back in. Yay. I just hold this down with my finger so I know it's not going to go anywhere. So I'm going to stick this in and I'll show you what I'm doing here. So remember these are those screws um, that we took out of the side. Putting them back in. Now you're not going to put them in tight just yet. Because we have to align everything yet. Just put it in firm, just put it in a little bit so that it can be rotated. Very loose. Just so this stuff doesn't pop out. Yay! Come on. This lens is finicky. It's not a favorite of mine. 
to clean. Um, and if you're if you're just cleaning the if you're cleaning fungus, a lot of times fungus will seep in through or fungus will grow in between the the elements around the aperture. So you don't have to pull any of this apart to clean that. You're just going to be opening the aperture, cleaning and cleaning the rear element here. And sometimes that's, that's enough to clean the fungus out of a lens. What happens is water gets sucked in through the breathing of the lens when you focus it. If you're on a rainy day or whatever, humidity, and it will grow in there. Um, it does grow in other elements, but a lot of times it's in between the aperture. So now what we're going to do is, because you have those lines perfectly scratched, you're going to rotate the aperture ring, or that there, sorry, the whole um, iris. I gotta loosen these off a little bit. It's a little bit too tight. You can use a spanner. There's the, the two holes. You can use a spanner, but I'm not gonna bother. So, if you get this perfectly lined up, you will have F16 when it's all done. Now holding that, we're going to tighten these three screws. They don't have to be super manned on. Just nice and snug. Because if you do them too tight, you can actually pinch the aperture and the blades won't open. But you'd have to tighten them pretty hard to do that. Let's see. Oh, oh. So, let's just close that all the way. There. Beautiful. All right. So now what I do is, well, uh, I was gonna blow it out and everything, but let me just keep going here. Um, so how this goes is if you don't do it like this, it will be forever trying to get it right. But basically what you're going to want to do is open the aperture uh, on the ring wide open to 1.4. Um, and then on this, you have to open this wide open as well. And I'll show you why. So you open that all the way. That This, this opens and closes the iris there. So you want that open all the way. Now, this can be finicky, but it works well if you do it right. You have this uh, L-shaped uh, uh, thing, <laughs> and not doweling, but whatever it is. And then you have this, um, looks like a prong, like a, you know, Nikon pig's ear um, prong, and it's got a notch in it. And so that slips into there. And so how you're going to do that we did it right. So you open them both to 1.4 and you're going to now you also have this here that moves along when the helicoid is open and or moved up and down and that slot there's a, a flat spot cut there and that goes into there and meshes so you're gonna go past it though um, that doesn't make sense to you but I'll show you in a second. Basically where are we here? So there, there, it's going to go into that. What I do is I put it on the left. So put this on the left of the pig's ear thing. Um, so slip it in. I can't even see. I'm kind of doing this blindly. But um, So once it's in, then you rotate to the right. And hopefully it will find it. Did that find it? We'll find out. Oh, look at that. It found it. So now you're going to continue to rotate this until you can see where the screws, the screw holes open up and drop your screws in there and quickly tighten them before you sneeze. Ah, home free. All right. Let's see if my video is still going. <laughs> Everything's going swell.
after all this work, I almost want to convert this to M42 mount or something. I'm not sure. You can tear the mounts off of these things. Not like the Konicas and stuff, but you pull the mounts off and put it, the M42 mounts and different mounts on them, but it's a bit of a project. Maybe I should do it, and then we can shoot it and test it and see what it looks like. And I don't know. It's a lot. It's not a lot of work, but... Um, so yeah, tighten those. This can be tightened decently. Don't strip them, but give them a nice snug oomph. When I say don't strip them, I mean don't strip the heads. You're not going to strip the screw. <laughs> so now we're almost done. Um, isn't that awesome? So what you want to do is open that right up. Actually, you want to close it first. Just flip it a few times because if there's any dust particles, you want them moving. And blow them out with high-end professional air. Oh, oh, right. Sorry. Gotta, gotta use this. All right. Okay, there. It's clean. So. Now, because we weren't licking our elements again, um, everything should be good to go, right? Am I good to go? Yeah. What should I do first? Yeah, we'll drop the elements back in. Try not to spit, because then you're screwed. Ho ho ho, here we go. This is called a spanner, if you guys don't know. I should have mentioned that earlier. Crank her down. Take this. And line up with your screws. Dingle dingle ling ding. That can be snugged. Dingle dingle ling ding dingle. One more. Rotate it to the left. What? Left? Yeah, and then it'll snap into place. There it goes. And now you can rotate it to the right. Whoops. There it goes. Take your spanner. Now, this doesn't have to be too tight, it's just a nameplate. Be nice to it. You can snug it a little bit, but don't. You know. Cool. So, there she is. Awesome, look at that. Works like a charm. Just clean it up real quick here. And, yeah, so. Yeah, if you guys check out my other website, that'd be cool. Um, the Canon Fast Reviews. Uh, if I convert this thing, I might put up uh, some photos of it. Um, it would be cool to convert it. 